Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm in Honolulu. I've known about the Ignis Beta Project for quite some time and I've seen a lot of the videos and I'm sure a lot of people of my generation, I'm 58 years old, have uploaded um, their stories to you. And I wanted to concentrate on a specific part of my story that it might help uh, gays and lesbian kids um, have a better time in high school uh, with one way of, of being in high school is just to get out of high school early. Okay, here's my story. Is I was began high school when I was in eighth grade, ninth grade, and it wasn't that great. But my parents moved me 2,000 miles to live with my sister in Georgia. This was in Nebraska, and I actually went to a high school where there were 2,000 people. You know, quite a big high school, and it was okay. I was a high school of 200 people where everybody knew each other from grade one to high school where it was very I was very anonymous, but my thing was is that I didn't wasn't into the high school thing. I wasn't into proms. I wasn't into parties. I just wanted to get out of high school. Um, so I took all the courses that I needed to take. I took some AP courses, and then I was kind of stuck. I didn't know what to do for the last two years of high school. I had done everything, so they put me into a work study program where I was able to work for a big corporation in Atlanta for about 20 hours a week in the afternoons, so I was making money, good money at that time, just by doing office work, um, but I was still having to go to high school. So fast forward to 30 years, I started this job in Hilo, Hawaii, with this um, woman in a library, and she grew up in Florida, but what happened with her, she did the very same thing I did, but at age 16, she asked her parents, like, do I really have to stay in high school? Can I do something else? So she ended up getting her GED degree. And with her GED, she was able to leave high school when she was 16, and she enrolled in community college. I work in a community college with 9,000 students here in Honolulu, and I'm telling you one thing. No one cares about the prom in the community college. No one cares about you know, the parties in community college. Of course, people at community college party, but it's not all centered around one group of people. There are 9,000 people that go to this college. They all have their lives. They have jobs. They have families. Some of them have children. No one really cares about your personal life, who you're dating or whatever. You can make that, if that's part of what you want, you know, your educational experience to be, you can make it, but it's not forced on you. So you don't have this clique of people that you have to deal with. So my suggestion to you is if you can find a counselor to talk to and say, and maybe arrange getting out of high school early, Legally, you don't have to be in high school after the age of 16. You can leave, you can drop out, but I'm encouraging you to continue your education, find something that you're really passionate about, learn how to do it well, and then share that with the community, share that with where you're living. So my suggestion is just to find a solution to get out of high school early if that is not your thing, because it wasn't my thing, and I know it's a lot of gay and lesbian people, it's not their thing either. Although things have changed in 38 years that I've been out of high school. So, um, you know, your mileage may vary, but this is just something that I'm suggesting. Try the GED. Um, think of different ways that you could interact outside of high school and, and just, get, just get the work done. Get what you need to have done in high school and then get out. So it does get better. It really does. And but part of it requires some thought some preparation on your part and some cooperation with your parents and with other people in your life. And remember, if the first counselor isn't friendly to you, isn't, isn't worth it for you, for your time, you know, that, go to another counselor because there are avenues for you. The Trevor Project is available for you. There are people that want to listen to you and help you because we only wish that there were people like us back in the day when it was really hard for us to be in high school. It's really hard to be gay. So anyway, I hope this helps, and it does, really does get better. Bye. Aloha.